Hi, this is Laura from Scrappy Mania, and today we're going to try a new technique with these new stamps that I got from Tuesday morning, and also a die that I purchased from, um, it's called What Fun Is This? So if you're looking, if you go to Tuesday morning, you'll get these stamps, and these are the Susan Garden stamp from Susan Tierney, and they go with her flowers collection, and it's a little fairy. You get the wings, you get the, the um, shoes, you get the doll. The only thing that was missing that Tuesday morning that I wasn't able to get was the the die to cut out the shapes because it has no legs, it has no feet. So I went online and I found this die, and I found this die for fourteen ninety nine at what fun is this? This website. Um, I think I got this on eBay. You can just Google uh, what fun is this or contact us at whatfunisthis.com and you can ask them about this die but they did send me the die and they even sent me a little gift with the die so this nice little flower sisic die so I thought that was pretty good I, I do like the company and it came in pretty quickly so just in case you're looking for this because otherwise I, this is this die on Amazon was 56 56 or 53 dollars um, I found it in other places and they wanted a lot of money for this die. So I was able to get it for $14.99 from What Fun Is This? So what I want to do um, with the die is I, I have a panel here. Now this is some fabric that I went ahead and gessoed it. And I want to stamp on this and then I'm going to cut it out or die cut out. I want to die cut out legs and feet from this fabric and I'm going to create a doll. I want to create a doll. I'm going to stuff it with some batting and just to see how well that works. So let me go ahead and open my stamp. And this is the first time I use it. So hopefully it does come out what I'm planning to do. So I think I'm going to use this one. I like that one. So I'm going to use that. And you want to use some um, permanent ink. Don't use water soluble ink. Because I am going to use some watercolors on top. To give it a little bit of color. I missed her little hair but that's okay. I think that's good. I'm going to have to kind of go over it with a permanent marker. I'm going to go ahead and stamp all this out and I'll be back. I decided to cut some batting and you want to get a nice thin little batting for your pieces and I went ahead and cut all my pieces out so you're going to cut two of each of your pieces in your fabric and then one of each of the little pieces with your batting you're going to use some glue now um, I'm going to use this Elmo glue because it's not going to go into wash but you know if you're going to wash if you create a doll and you're going to wash it you may want to use fabric glue Gonna make sure I'm not going to put any glue on the holes because I'm going to use those holes to place a brad in between them so my doll will have some movement and let's see and then I'm going to turn it over and glue the next piece and then I'm going to go ahead and do this to all the pieces Make sure you let it dry really good before you paint it because what I want to do is I'm going to give it some skin color and I'm going to use my watercolor pencils for that. And I think once I get all my pieces glue, I make sure you make sure you, you keep that hole in between there. So I'm going to take that. You want to make sure you have a nice hole for your brads. So I already got all my pieces glued. Um, what I want to do is you want to put it, I'm going to put it on this piece of wood. I'm going to lay first wax paper because when you compress it, some of the glue is going to um, spill, out, spill out. I'm going to put some more wax paper there. I'm going to put another block of wood. And then I'll put some rocks on top. And actually I might just use this. And I think that's enough pressure. 
and we're going to set this aside to dry so let me put it over here and let it dry we're going to let it dry for 24 hours so now let's go back to this piece here and it didn't really stamp that well so i'm going to go in with a permanent marker and i want to look for a fine let's see if i can find one that has a fine point this one looks like it's a fine point permanent marker water resistant alcohol based marker so i think this one should be fine and then i'm just want to go ahead and see how it didn't stamp all the way through i'm going to go ahead and outline it the area that did not stamp really good I think I'm good. That's all I want to do. And then um, I may need to cut another one of these. So let me go ahead and stamp another wing because I may, and actually I can probably create, um, put some batting in those wings. So I think I'm going to do that. So let me go ahead and stamp this first. And what I found the trick for this is to rock it back and forth and put a lot of pressure and see it makes it nice and dark. That's how I want it. And then I just cut, let's see, let me just stamp it here so then I can cut the outline. Okay, so I'll use, I'll put that later. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and clean the stamp. So now what I want to do is I want to color these in. So I'm going to use my Prima watercolors and regular watercolor pencils here. And these are um, some Koi Noor. They're Aquarelle pencils. I got these also at Tuesday morning. Because the um, fabric has gesso, the watercolor pencils are going on very nicely because it has a tooth to hang on. And then I just go with a little bit of water and just smearing it and putting some highlights and, and low lights on the all the different pieces. And it came out really nice. I mean, I really like using the watercolors here. And uh, you don't have to seal it because, I mean, it's it's not going to go into wash. It's just, I'm just going to give this to my grandniece. So it, she's going to be playing with it. And and it, it's really not going to get washed or, or cleaned or anything like that. So watercolor it, um, pencils is, is fine to use. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting these out because when I try to use the, um, the die cuts that come with the kit, it left a white border. I do not want a white border. I want to cut it very close to the black border. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it by hand instead of using the die. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all this out and then I'll be back. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the batting on the wings. Okay, so now my pieces are dry here. So I'm going to go ahead and color the skin tone on here, even though a lot of this is not going to be not going to show, but I do want to color the skin tone just a bit. Now comes the fun part, putting this doll together. And I decided to get some flowers. So this is going to be for the bottom of the dress. So what you want to do is just get some artificial flowers and just pull them apart because we want to use the petals for her dress and I also wanted to use red so I might put some red in there you can cut these apart too let's see pull that middle part out sometimes it's a little tricky to pull it out there 
I also have some leaves so what I do is I just um, take out the plastics I take out the plastic of the leaves those things got my scissors handy you need a set of brads because you want to put the doll together so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the doll together before I paste my wings and my shoes and then this is gonna be her back and this is the front so this goes on here but before we do that we want to put the brad so I have these little mini brads so then you're just gonna put all your pieces together and the good thing about using brads is that if you make a mistake a couple of times I had to take them off and put them back on because either I put the toes in in the wrong direction or I forgot to put the thighs and I just put the lower leg on so um, I like using the brads and, and you can easily fix your mistakes So, okay, for the next thing, I may want to put this underneath it, so let's go ahead and not glue this yet. Let's go ahead and glue some flowers to her. So now I'm just going to glue my flowers, and I'm just going to put hot glue on the body area, avoiding the legs, because I want to be able to move my legs um, on the doll. And I'm just cutting some leaves, because that's going to be like the a band. And now I'm just using hot glue to glue the cutout um, face with the shirt. So I have the front. Now let's turn her over. Let's do the back. She's pretty naked in the back. So I'm going to put some glue on here. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. So we're going to put our shoes on. And then we're going to put uh, some flowers for the back. For her back dress. Making sure. And then I'm putting her shirt and I'm putting the angel the wings on the shirt but I decided that I wanted to sew it on first because I really wanted to give it a lot of stability especially I'm going to be giving this to my niece so I, I, I want to make sure that the wing is not going to fall off and I felt like putting hot glue just hot glue and not sewing it it was going to fall off when she started playing with it so after I sew it on then I'm going to go ahead and place some hot glue and put her shirt with the wings on on the back of her her body okay so I didn't do a good job here notice that so the way I think I'm gonna fix this either I can cut around that let's see how it looks if I cut it around yeah we can cut around it so I'll cut around this I should have paid more attention when I was gluing this but I didn't okay I mean maybe we can even put some real leaves just a couple of leaves around here. Just adding a couple of um, silk leaves in the back of her hair really made a difference. I really like that effect. So there, I fixed that mistake and then put some behind it and it looks pretty nice. So here's my doll that I created using Susan Garden and this is the fairy and I have the um, the stamps so these are the stamps and with the coordinating die these are the other stamps you get these at Tuesday morning and I already have it all set up in my um, storage container so I liked I have this storage container it's called art bin and I got it at Joanne's with the 60% coupon and 
there's where I put my die that's um, magnetic and then you just put your stamps on top I'm keeping this in here but that's and then um, for the pieces for these pieces for these for the the body you need to get the big Sizzik um, die and this is the Garden Fairy mo mo movables um, and I got this one at what fun is that or what fun is this I got it at what fun is this and they're a very nice little company it's only $14.99 they actually gave me a little little gift when I purchased um, that die so I hope you like this video and thank you for watching bye now